Thank you, Madam Chair. This is a, uh, a bill that we have had before us in our previous years. It fundamentally uh, is a simple bill, but not an easy bill. It changes only how we determine school performance grades. That's the ABCD F grades for our schools. Presently, the formula calls for 80% um, emphasis on performance and 20% emphasis on growth. <coughs> Folks, we have had this discussion many times in the house. In my view, education is growth. There are a number of factors that play into this. Whether it's motivation, attitude, peer, peer pressure, exposure, we've all heard about the 20 million word gap. But I can tell you from personal experience, the teachers had a heck of a lot more difficult time moving me from an F to a D than they did moving somebody from a B to an A. I can't say I was part of that trip very many times. So it is simply that proficiency rewards schools for the students they take in, but not necessarily for how well they teach students. And that's the whole sense of this provision. I encourage you to support the bill. Uh, Rodney Moore, Representative Moore. Yes, Madam Chair, I do not have a copy of the actual bill. Is there a copy of the actual bill, or is just, it's just that's the summary that we're working on? For? We apologize. Um, look in your folder. It's it's a uh, it's not a PCS. So. Okay. Good. It's three twenty. House Bill three twenty two. While we're pulling that out. Madam Chair, if I might go with one, I want one explanation because a question came up. You'll see in the bill where it talks about 10 point scale. We use a 10 point scale. That's in the, at the bottom of the bill. That's in statute now, but that is, by the way, superseded by uh, a provision in the budget from last year saying that in school years 2016, 17, 17, 18, and 18, 19, that we will use a 15 point scale. That 15 point scale continues in effect in spite of the fact, or notwithstanding, that the general statute calls for a 10 point scale. So we're not changing the scale, we're only changing the emphasis from 80 20 performance over growth to 50 50 performance and growth. Thank you. Um, Representative Conry. Uh, thank you. I, I know this issue has come up many times in the past, but this is my first time on the Education Policy Committee and also as a chair. Uh, fortunately, I don't support this bill. We have used the 80-20 blend for some time now, and I know I come from Forsyth County where we probably have more DNF schools than any other urban area, and that certainly is sort of an uncomfortable reality. Uh, but the emphasis has been intentionally on achievement. We want the children, particularly the students, particularly in K through third grade, to be at grade level, and that is the interpretation of achievement. And we want to keep the bar high and uh, encourage the teachers that this is our goal. Uh, growth is nice. I think if you change the blend, it certainly would confuse the public. My newspaper publishes these grades uh, every year. I don't think the information would reach the parents of, of uh, the different formulations. If you want to go back to the original idea when the grading system started, was there were actually going to be two grades. Uh, you would separate the two. You would have one for achievement and one for growth to make it crystal clear of um, the actual situation and what was happening in the schools. Of course, you do want children to grow, but you don't want to mask the fact that they're not reaching grade level, and that's been our emphasis in the Read to Achieve program and the excellence in public schools, uh, to get each and every child that opportunity for the future, and if they don't have mastery at their grade level, particularly the basics in math and reading, 
I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. It's 10 till, and I'll need to vote on this if we're going to get it out. I do want to explain to you this is the same bill you all get. Those of you who were here last year have all voted on and most both of them. Uh, and I think we had a unanimous coming out of the House last year. Is there anyone who really feels the real urge to uh, discuss this? If not, can I have a motion? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to move that we give a favorable to House Bill uh, 322. Uh, there's a motion before us for a favorable report for House Bill 322. Uh, all those in favor will say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The ayes have.